Will people use Dogecoin to buy the new Cybertruck? Over 70% of gaming companies are working in Web3 now, and there's an unexpected reason for why this is very bullish. Sam Bankman frieds girlfriend testified this week, and we're definitely going to recap what Joe Rogan said about Bitcoin. Welcome to Around the Blockchain. Let's catch you up on this week's events in crypto. X account Mary Party looked into the Cybertruck source code and found something that piqued his interest. You guessed it, he found a Dogecoin payment method bridge. Tesla's new electric vehicle is now available to pre-order, and guys, have you seen this thing? I'm sure everybody has at some point, but it's really unique looking. Do we love it? Do we hate it? Would you drive it? Is it the ugliest thing we've ever seen, or do you love the modern design? Comment below your thoughts. The presale for the truck requires a fully refundable $100 down payment, and it's estimated to start selling around 60 k Initially, it was supposed to be a $40,000 car when it was designed back in 2019, but a lot has changed in the economy since then, like printing 88% of all of the US dollars in existence over a period of 22 months resulting in crippling inflation. All that to say, we're not surprised by two things. The price of the Cybertruck has most likely gone up, and Elon wants buyers to be able to buy their new truck with Dogecoin. What started as the least likely outcome for Doge is becoming the most likely outcome because it's widely expected that Elon is going to integrate Dogecoin into as many of his products and his companies as possible. I'm waiting for the Neuralink Dogecoin wallet. Stay on top of this and other news by tuning into Around the Blockchain. All you have to do is like this video, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when we go live. CoinGecko just released a report that 72.5% of video game companies have adopted Web3 technologies, and I'll tell you right away why I think this is bullish. The top 10 video game companies have a combined market cap of $3.2 billion, which means that even if you're not a gamer, people are definitely playing video games. Some of the biggest names like Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, Electronic Arts, and Ubisoft, just to name a few, are investing in Web3 gaming projects. They're hiring crypto motherfuckers. I mean, hiring for blockchain-related positions, and others are even developing on-chain games. In the report, Crafton stands out as a crypto trailblazer with a blockchain game coming out in December of 2023. The game has a full release sometime in 2024. It's a bear market right now, so adoption and development has been slower than it was in 2019 when the bull market was in full swing. But add to this everything that's currently happening in blockchain gaming, plus the billions already coming into the gaming industry, and it's plain to see that the potential is there. We caught a glimpse of what Axie Infinity was able to do in 2021, and with all of the interest in gaming, it's not a stretch to believe that could have just been the tip of the iceberg. So keep your eyes on blockchain gaming. And speaking of eyes on, all eyes are on Sam Bankman Fried and his ex, Caroline Ellison, who testified against him in his $10 billion fraud trial. Before she took the plea deal, she faced 110 years in jail before saying she was guilty of federal fraud charges and agreed to cooperate fully with the feds in hopes of a much lighter sentence. Former Brooklyn prosecutor Maura Penza said it's too early to predict what sentence she might get, but she said it's possible Ellison might get off with just probation. During the trial, Ellison was asked, while you were working at Alameda, did you commit any crimes? To which Ellison answered, yes, we did, adding that Sam Bankman Fried directed me to commit these crimes. The prosecutor painted a picture of SBF masterminding the operation, setting up commingling of funds that allowed Alameda Research to borrow from FTX illegally. Ellison said that when FTX was being audited, she raised concerns about whether investors would find out what was happening with customer funds, and Sam told her to not worry about it. When the prosecution asked Ellison flat out how much customer money Alameda used to repay customers, Ellison replied, around $10 billion. She testified that she prepared a spreadsheet showing how FTX could could collapse after realizing the financial shape the company was in, but she said Sam dismissed her again. She also said that he doctored the balance sheets to show investors that their stake in FTX was less risky than it actually was. In short, they were dating, and Sam was running the show and allowing himself and his inner circle to use FTX customer funds for personal expenses. She's expected to be cross-examined as nothing but a scored lover and bad businesswoman. Let me know what you believe in the comments. And what would this week be without touching on what's going on with Israel and Palestine? The violence and war crimes have been 
devastating. What could this mean for crypto? Crypto accounts seeking Hamas donations were frozen by Israel, and some are thinking this could be a good time for a currency like Bitcoin that, in Joe Rogan's words, in an interview with ChatGPT founder Sam Altman, could become a universal and viable currency. Either way, I hate analyzing markets when we're talking about something so horrifying and tragic. It's a time to spread love and send prayers to the victims and their families. Don't forget that ATB goes live Monday through Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ATB and on the Discover Crypto channel. Comment below what you think of this week's events in crypto and don't forget to like this video to show support for the channel. Until next time, toodles!